guys, so welcome to a foreigner in the Philippines. So somebody uh, message us and saying how it feels bad that you are now <laughs> that you are living on a cement house. You know because uh, I followed your journey and I start from the beginning. I was I follow from the start of your journey that you're building. Uh, you got a house that is made of uh, corrugated iron. It's not corrugated iron. It's uh, what's you call that? Color of the Terence is doing on that side. You know that's well that's our roof that's our wall and then when the typhoon came in we we're very sad for that you know because it's ru it's ruined and we got a lot of memories there so instead of instead of repairing that because the, the, we don't have an electricity at the time i think seven months seven months after the typhoon that's where we got the electricity you know so now somebody question is how it feels to be in the cement house right <laughs> Yeah, I growing up, I growing up, uh, we don't we don't have a cement house, you know. When I was a kid, it was just a small house. Uh, the wall is cladding, you know. But when we do the before we do the repair on our um, the renovations on our red house, Terence already planned to do a cement house. But then I said, look, our finances will not able to do that because I'm thinking about uh, getting that, getting the land, you know. If, possible it's kind of investment you know so we have another plan is that so we didn't do we didn't made a cement house instead we do the renovations because i calculated we could able to save up you know even though it's a little hot but then we're not always in the house so it's fine but it's very nice you know terence doing it very nice you know so now it's uh somebody saying how it feels i, I saw on the video i saw on the photos that Terence is posted that you are now it's a nice place which I agree yeah it's very nice you know this is not our house this is the house of our friend Jan S you know if you're following our videos from the beginning we already says that this is the house of our friend Jan S you know so uh he's been visiting us uh I think three times 20, 2017 2018 and 29 20 something two times or three times he's been visiting us in fact he's been go with us in some of the projects we we brought him on some of our housing project uh going to some people that we've helped but he's not in the video because he's a private person he don't want to be shown in the camera you know which we respect that to our visitor if they want they don't want to be in the picture they don't want to be in the video they don't want to be posted you know so which we understand that so what happened is we we uh let, i think 20, we got this property 2020 you know, we got this land, it's 1,000, 1,000, oh, 13,000 hect 13, square meter, which is 1 hectare and 3,000 square meter, you know. So, it's quite, it's, uh, what we did is we do the fence, you know, so we got this 2020. And then, uh, when we got the other, the lots here, there's another lot, which, because this is three lot, you know. So, th this is three lot. So, we got that, so, when we said to our friend, look, there's another lot that is for sale, would you want to would you want to you know would you want to buy it for preparations of your um visit uh, if you're retirement here in the philippines so now the time is okay he said okay i i'm i'm gonna get that so he get the other lot you know so and then the time the the time it's kind of unpredictable you know we don't that's the time that the covid you know the covid 19 is so People doesn't know when is the when is the airport gonna open, when is the time that uh, travel restrictions will be lift up. So we said, okay, uh, if you want, can we get the one lot that is next? So we decided, okay, like, I'm gonna get that. So that's the time that we also do the fence, and the, we also do the fence of his pro on the side of the property. But it's just kind of we working to make sure that uh, we know the parameter, we know the fence, we make. Where's the property? Where's the property ended? So from that, it's the typhoon come in. You know, the soft typhoon of that come in. So that's the time uh, we started doing. I said to him, okay, would you want to build a house? Because that's also our plan. You know, for kind of investment in the long run. So we uh, build a house. So now we're living. We're staying here. You know, we're staying in his house. For the, uh, it's kind of also of uh, security, you know, that people know that there's someone stayed in the house. And then at the same time, it's on our side also driving on the mud, 
driving on the road going to the mountain is very very hard on the truck you know good thing is we got the raptor which is strong enough before uh, before when we got the multi cab it's every month we go to the repair shop because there's a problem overheating or the uh, what do you call that under net you know it's been broken you know so that's our problem before and although we have a problem we got one one broke broke down on our raptor but it's not it's a bit expensive also so that's what we're trying to avoid so we stayed here you know we stayed here and it's pretty nice you know, I said to our friend, our friend Janice called this morning, you know, he said, oh, how was the house? How would you feel? You know, I said to him, oh, it's very nice. It looks like we are, it feels like we are in the hotel, you know, so we are wishing and we're hope, uh, we're really praying for him to be here so that he could able to, uh, he could able to enjoy the work that we've done. And at the same time, where his money came, where his money was being put up. So yeah, uh, we're here is pretty, it's pretty good. You know, so it's also kind that we tried to give our work on our workers, you know, some food on the table for them. So we do bit by bit, you know. So, yeah, so the question is how it feels. It feels good, you know, although I miss the mountain. I miss the house there. I miss Nana. I miss the, I miss the dogs there. I miss the people down there, my family there. But it's, it feels good, you know. It's like I didn't. Terrence went to Taliban. He tried to ride in the motorcycle, you know. If he if he got materials being I brought some materials then he ride up uh, he got, ride a truck you know but if not then he just wanted to go there he just ride the motorcycle which is two hundred pesos for the motorcycle that's good for three days you know so it's very it's saving it's life saving yeah so that's the questions that's the answer to the questions you know so it's not yet all done you know. Uh, we still have some do uh, redo of the work being done by the workers. We got the doors there. I think two doors that it's not, it's not fit in. You know, so it's difficult to open. So we got we bought the planer today. Terence bought the planer today, so that we could do the uh, the uh, the the doors. You know, there is some painting that needs to be done. The kitchen. You know, so ah, uh, it's bit by bit until our friend will be here. You know so yeah so that's the answer of the questions you know so we've been we've been grateful we've been grateful um, on the things happened to us although there are some there are some things that's still been stressing you know because we got 70 students with us that we don't with with as much as possible we don't want to drop you know so thanks to all who has been uh riding with our journey who has been part of our journey forever grateful for that yeah, so again, that's uh, that's just the answer of the questions. I don't know why, or I, I went to the other side, you know. So have a great day. Thank you so much, and God bless. Bye-bye.